Okay, we are recording again. Well, let's see what we have. Well, we have something between a two heart bed and a one heart bed. I like aces, so I'm going to bet a heart. Gary and I don't usually open this light, but you know, 6 4, I got a bed. Let's see if I can keep it under control. Not too much, Gary. But we'll see what he does. I really think that opening two hearts on a hand like this is silly. And the people who tell me that that they would pay us. I don't believe that. I would open either one or two. Now, everybody would bid two hearts on this hand. I think it's a normal two diamond bid. I always bid my four card suit. And of course, now Gary's going to bid two now, and I'm going to be dead. Could you? Well. Maybe they'll get in the way. I mean, somebody's got the spades. And I would guess it's Gary. Doesn't have him. So they have him. So maybe uh, he's thinking of making a takeout double over here. Or even bidding two spades. Let's see what Gary does over that. Or maybe he's having trouble with his recording. Oh, no, he passed. Please, Gary, just don't bid two hearts. Oh, yeah, I love it. Please, everybody, pass. Okay, you don't really want to balance, do you? I know they have nine spades. Oh, ho. stealing. Now that dope probably has the king, queen, jack of spades. He always has something I don't want. Well, let's see what he has. I have to play the hand. This is the worst part of our system. Gary usually insists that he declares all the hands. So actually for this auction, I have pretty good uh, playing strength, 6-4. Let's see. I guess we're not going to speed the game up. Hello. It's not my bay, not my lead. All right, let's see what we can do. Come on, lead the king of spades. That's what I like to see. Oh, he's left. He's left the table. He's been locked out. Uh, reserved, he's coming back. He's back. And now he's led the eight of spades. Hmm. This is curious. I haven't the foggiest notion how to play this thing. Huh. I gotta get diamonds going. Well, he's led the eight of spades, third and fifth. Well, let's see what I could take. I could take four hearts, two diamonds, and a spade. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do something with spades. That eight of spades, third and fifth. God, so he's got four spades. And the other one's got five. Uh, I don't know. If I run the ten, well, I'm going to play the ace of spades. That's for sure. And now if I run the Ten of Diamonds and it loses to the King, or if it loses to the Jack, if it loses to the Jack, then I can play the Ace and drop the King. I could be pretty lucky there. If it loses to the, well, I'll try that. Three, that's low. I'll play low and hope for the best. Please be nice to me. No. 
Seven of spades. Here comes the spade of salt. Okay, so he's destroyed that. Is there any reason that I should play a club on this, on this card? Uh, no, I'll just rip it. Now the problem is if I lead a club now, I could be in a position to lose a diamond run. He's played the three of diamonds. That's a very scary card to me. I'll just play the Ace of Hearts. I'll go quietly. Maybe an honor will drop. Uh-oh. I was hoping he wasn't showing out. All right, I'll play another heart. Okay, got those out of the way. Four of spades, so let's rough that. And maybe the king of balance will drop. King! Okay. So now I have five tricks. I will play Melvin. And I hope the king of nines is on my left, in which case they can make an awful lot of tricks. And if it's on my right, I'm not sure I could have made it, but I misguessed the hearts. So let's see where it is. Oh, it's on my left. How nice. So they would be off no clubs, one diamond, one heart. They'd be on a guess for the jack of spades to make four spades. Okay, I am now going to stop recording. They wouldn't make four spades, but if I open two hearts, it might have gone past past two spades. Hard to tell. Three no. But once I open two hearts, they might actually guess the spades right. Hey, I made up for the first hand by doing something clever on the second hand. I'll stop recording now.